Oh, I'm so excited for school to start. Oh, my goodness. Well, hello, boys and girls. My name is Mr. Seibel, and I'm the principal at the Early Childhood Center. And I'd like to welcome you as our brand new kindergartners. I know coming to school maybe for the first time as a kindergartner can be a little scary, but I'm here to tell you, don't worry. Everybody here is so nice, and we are going to have so much fun learning new and exciting things that you're going to enjoy yourself when you come to school each and every day. Well, to welcome you, I thought I'd read you a story. And this is a story that I think maybe will help us realize that school is not a scary place and it's going to be a lot of fun. The name of the book that I'd like to share with you today is The Night Before Kindergarten. As we look at this book, let's go ahead and take a look at the cover, and you can kind of see some of the pictures that this story might contain as we look through this. All right. This story is written by Natasha Wig, and it's illustrated by Julie Durrell. Right before kindergarten. Here's one more picture. Ooh, maybe. What do you think the boys and girls in this picture are doing? I don't know. Let's see if we can find out as we read the story. Twas the night before kindergarten. And as they prepare, kids were excited and a little bit scared. Tossed and they turn about in their beds, while visions of school supplies danced in their heads. Erasers and crayons and pencils galore were stuffed in their backpacks and set by the door. Outfits were hung in the closets with care. Knowing that kindergarten soon would be there. In the morning it came. School starts today. Would the teacher be nice? Would they still get to play? Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids posed for pictures with eyes sparkling bright. Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in cars as if they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Sometimes the pages get stuck, but I'm trying to be very careful so I don't hurt our book. Some kids brought blankets or their favorite stuffed bear in hopes they could nap like they did in daycare. Their parents exclaimed, You're big kids now. Let us hold your bears and blankies for now. The parents were worried their children would cry if they left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, if you want, we can stay and make sure that everyone will be a-okay. What do you think the kindergartners going to say? Hmm, let's see if we can find that. Their teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the students to stay for a while. The 
The room was all filled with toys, books, and maps. But where were the beds for mid-morning naps? I don't know if I see any beds. They colored and painted and played, Simon says. They turned and they skipped and stood on their heads. They sang silly songs from beginning to end. With just a minute, each kid had a friend. Oh my goodness, I think I remember seeing this picture at the very beginning of the book. Is that what you thought the kids would be doing? Look at moms and dads. They're very smiling because they're seeing their boys and girls have fun learning things at school. Let's see what else happens. The children were happy. They loved Miss Sunrise. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. What do you think the surprise is going to be for the teachers? When what to her wondering eyes should appear, but sad moms and dads who were holding back tears. Their nose was so snippy, their eyes red and wet. This was the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise had seen yet. She gathered the grown-ups on the magical rug and sent them away after one The children all waved from the door of the school. Don't cry, Mom and Dad. Kindergarten is cool. Well, boys and girls, I hope you liked that story. And maybe it made you feel a little bit better about coming to the first day of kindergarten. I'm so excited to see you Wednesday morning. And you know what? We're going to do this again next book that I have for us to, to share. Kindergarten Rocks! I can't wait to share this book with you. So for now, I want you to relax and know that everybody here at school is so excited to see you and we are going to have a lot of fun learning great and new things. Until next time, boys and girls, I'll see you in kindergarten.